Hi you guys, today I am deep cleaning and decluttering our main floor bathroom. Um, we did remodel this if you're not familiar with our house. Um, it's a very small bathroom, but I still love it and yeah, it just needed another deep cleaning. It's been a while since I've done one and I decided to film it for you guys. So um, basically I just got some water and I'm using the Caldrea Pear Blossom Agave scent. I bought it off of Grove Collaborative and I will try and link everything and also my referral link if you're interested in trying Grove. Um, but I love how this smells. Seriously, I can't rave enough. I smelled it like hours after I was done cleaning and that is saying something. I loved how it smelled and it's of course natural and everything. As well as this uh, seventh generation tub and tile cleaner that I'm using here in the shower. And the boys both took a turn at scrubbing the floor for me a little bit. Uh, they always get a kick out of that and I suppose it keeps them busy for a little while. Plus I don't need to do as much scrubbing myself. I started by emptying out the things that I could, like the hamper and things on the wall and uh, whatnot, just to kind of clear as much out as possible. And then I just started by wiping down the walls and I'm using the, um, the Caldrea water that I had uh, showed you guys earlier. I did that for most of the walls and stuff. As far as what I did in the shower to clean, I basically wiped everything down really well. And I do this on a regular basis, so it wasn't really that bad. And that's kind of the key is to keep up with your things so that you don't have to spend a lot of time when you are trying to deep clean or whatever. Um, I am using the scrubbing brush. I think it's a tile brush from Grove as well. And I try to get in the corners and stuff really well. Um, this tends to build up a little bit more, so I took some time to kind of scrub and try and get the little crevices and stuff. Um, but as far as the shower doors, I have gotten questions on these, so I thought I'd just tell you. Uh, we found these on eBay, but they are from the company called Dreamline Showers. I will try and link them if I can. And yeah, we like them really so far. They were pretty affordable and it was something unique. And so I thought if you guys are interested in something like this, I'll try and link that uh, below. And yes, I did drench myself <laughs> when I was trying to rinse the walls, but so goes. So after I had wiped uh, most of everything down, I moved to our linen closet, which is pretty small, but I have things pared down enough that it works really well for us. Um, generally, I would say declutter first and then clean, but I knew that um, it wasn't that dirty in there and this is just what was working for me today. Um, so I just moved things around a little bit and took out some stuff to kind of wipe down the shelves and get it nice and clean again. Uh, another tip I have for you guys is that I use my magic eraser a lot, which you probably know that already and you might use it yourself, but um, especially on like doors and trim, it's really handy to have these because there's a lot of like black marks and stuff that will just kind of, you know, appear <laughs> over time with using and everything and that really helps um, make things nice and fresh again. There was some marks there on the wall and that took a lot of it off, so I was really happy about that and then yeah, I just went back over it with a rag and everything and also yeah I just wiped down my shelving here above the toilet as well. So 
this bin is in the top shelf of our linen closet. It is a pretty decent sized one and I keep all of our extra cosmetics or first aid supplies and just kind of, you know, a place to put things that you don't maybe use on a regular basis. But uh, generally that is what I keep up there. And I just went through everything. There's, I got rid of quite a few things surprisingly and as you could see before it was pretty jumbled up despite having you know organization of some sort <laughs> it still gets messy so it's good to always go through things and kind of sort through um, what you're not using and just kind of go through like your medicines and everything if you have like a medicine bin um, try to make sure you're looking at the expiration dates and everything and so I went through all of that and was very pleased with the outcome Next I went through our drawers. I have three drawers on one side and then my husband has three and actually two on the other side. But I went through uh, my drawers. I did not get rid of just a lot because I have to keep it pared down pretty much but I wiped out the inside of the drawers and kind of reorganized things a little bit. I just have like my contact solution, my thyroid medicine, uh, combs and just things that I reach for on a daily basis and stuff in the top drawer. And if you're curious about these little white bins, uh, I have talked about them before, but they are from Dollar Tree and I love them. They are very sturdy and they have like little rubber grippy things on the bottom, so it helps them not slide around as much. They do a little bit, but I love how they look. They're just clean and they're very, very well made for a dollar. So I have been able to find them uh, different times. So yeah, just be on the lookout if you're looking for things like that at Dollar Tree. They don't always have them, but I really, I really love them. So I want to talk about this little U-turn or Lazy Susan, whatever you want to call it. I've talked about it before as well, but if you have not heard me talk about it, this is from Target. And I love the thing. It was a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's been a very good investment. I think it was around $20. You can sometimes pick it up for a little cheaper, but it's just a nice and deep size and it works perfectly for my under the sink area. And this is kind of where I put all of our um, daily cosmetics, whatnot. I have like our toothbrushes and everything. You can see that in the one slot. And I just really love it. It's very handy to have and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, to you guys if you are looking for something like this. It could also work in like kitchen cabinets and stuff but um, yeah this is just how I keep things separated and I love it. It stays nice and organized. I also want to mention a couple of products that my husband and I use. Well, he uses them mostly, but um, they're from Dollar Shave Club, and I don't know if you guys have seen them advertised or not, or if you use them, but they're like a subscription um, service for men. But honestly, I use these razors as well, and I love them so much. Um, my husband will like use it once or twice, and then I'll just take his razor and use it, you know, for me, and I love it. It works very well. This is like the shave butter. He loves that stuff. And this is what the shaver itself looks. You get a head and then you can get like a box of four and you can get it like by monthly or monthly. Basically, I'd say you can pretty much customize as much as you want, but um, yeah, I'd highly recommend them. Here I'm using my Norwex rags. Uh, this is like the all-purpose one, I think. I'm not sure that's the actual term for it, but if you are not familiar with Norwex, um, go ahead and check them out. I love their products and they're all natural, like you just use water with them. And so I, they do a wonderful job and I usually tend to use them for like my windows and mirrors and even here on my uh, Carrera marble top because I don't wanna use a lot of cleaner on it. And it works really well for that. The boys always get a kick out of spraying stuff, so I agreed to let them help me a little bit with the toilet. <laughs>
I picked up this Method Anti-Back uh, All-Purpose Cleaner at Target over here a while back and it's in the Citron scent and that's what I was using on the toilet. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit inside of our linen closet, what I call a linen closet. The top shelf is the big bin that I was talking about, my extras and everything, and then I have toilet paper in the other corner, and sometimes sometimes I'll stick uh, some cleaner up in the corner as well. But um, here in the back, I have these two clear jars, and I'm really excited about it. It's something that I just recently implemented, and it's my husband's Listerine. I usually I just had it in the regular bottles they come in, but you know it's not very pretty to look at for sure if you have open shelving. So I bought it at Target, those two jars, and I'm really excited about it. They're not very expensive, like $3 or something. So uh, I thought I would show you guys that. And then I just have towels and washcloths in the little um, gold bin there. And yeah, it works very well for us. And I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it encouraging and motivating to clean out your bathroom or whatever space you're needing to do. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll try and answer down below. And also I'd love to hear some um, organization ideas or cleaning products that you're loving and whatnot. Just uh, leave it all down there and I'd love to um, talk about things. So I hope you all enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you have a very blessed weekend. Bye!